Hi everyone. In this video we're going to talk about image to image prompts which I think is a more advanced feature but could come in handy if you have um, you know a picture or an, an image rendering that you're using for something and you just want to kind of manipulate it or make it look a little different. Um, just a little background I mean what you're seeing here is some of the images I have created. I am an author um, as well as a writer who cannot draw worth anything who did not like Photoshop at all. Um, and, you know, it wasn't until I started playing around with Dolly that I kind of came up with the idea that I could create my own images and shopped around for a few other applications. And it wasn't until I met Leonardo AI where I was like, okay, this is something I can work with. And as you can see, I have been working like a maniac. Great thing about Leonardo is that it does give us um, 150 tokens per day, which I think, I don't, I think it's the only one that I've known so far um, that does that. Usually these guys give you, you know, X tokens at all, just that's it. And once you're done, you have to get to the paid, uh, paid plan. Or they give you, you know, maybe a few tokens per month. So the fact that I have these generating, these tokens regenerating 250 in the next 11 hours, which puts it at about, about 7 o'clock my time, uh, means that every day I can go in and I can really play around and create the images I want. Uh, my objective is to create images that are for my stories. Um, I'm also creating an, an, uh, a book image business for other authors. Um, if if you know any authors who want some images and who are just not into whole you know image things, I'll put my link to my site down in the description. Um, but basically, these are some of the images that I was able to play around with um, and really come up with something that I, I liked that I wanted to just kind of use. So when I went ahead and I did um, the image generation section, which will show you the most recent images that I have. And this is just one of the more recent images that I was trying to create using a, t a model called Deliberate 1.1, which I found to be very handy, very awesome. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to actually use use the Deliberate 1.1 fine-tuned model and we're going to use it on, on an image to image. So I'm going to actually upload an image. This is an image that I have used in a book that I was creating right there. Um, and I call her Janice. She has come in very handy for me. Um, and of course, first of all, excuse it, the chickens. I have chickens. Um, when I was creating a book, you know, a Janice's guide for this and that, the other, I was actually creating it based on her. She was an image that I, she was my avatar basically. So, I, but I, I always wanted to kind of create her with different expressions and how I can, um, and with different ideas of how she could look. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually show you how to play around with the image a little bit using the image to image feature within Leonardo AI. So I'm going to get rid of this prompt here. I'm going to keep my negative prompt because my negative prompt comes in so handy. And as in this case, since I have this image, I'm going to put as per image. Now before I, I hit generate, which this is what's going to cost me four tokens according to this, I want to draw your attention here. This is the, um, the initial strength of the original image. Now how refined it comes out depends on your initial initial image strength. So okay, let's go down to like 0.15. So you can take a look, and this is Janice right here. So let's go ahead and generate her at, at an initial an, an init image of 0 0.15 and see what happens. Always exciting to kind of see what the uh, app is going to come up with. I'm always kind of excited just to on tenter hooks. Okay, as you can see, the initial images here are far from what I need. And despite the fact that I put in a negative prompt, it still gave me like she got like second arm somewhere. All right, so obviously this is not what I wanted. And this is definitely what I want. I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe I can use that at some point, but not right now. All right, so let's put, move up the inner strength to about point three one. All right, let's try that one and see what happens.
remember you're doing as per image so this will let the AI generation tool know that you're actually working with the image here okay Janice looks like a cute little kid with really weird proportions okay and this one looks like she's actually or actually in like a little pajama set which is cute but not what I wanted all right let's go up to point four five and see what happens deliberate Leonardo style okay this is a little better but I'm seeing here that Janice has no face which is a problem um, and this one she actually looks pretty nice again we're looking at the this was like she got a little double hem here happening um, still looks cute but not exactly what I'm looking for although it is closer as you can see as I get closer and closer to the top which I believe is 0.9 the images are getting much better so let's go all the way to point six and see what she comes up with here again my guidance scale you see here my guidance scale is about it's how strongly the prompt is weighted so it's it's about an eight which is where I like to keep my images okay now we're getting somewhere she's looking a little better she's looking really nice I like I like these renderings right here um, if I were to go up to 0.75 or 0.7, no, point, yeah, keep 0.78, no problem. I'm not going to dicker over a few digits. Let's see what we got here. Okay, now she's looking more like what, um, you know, what I'm used to. 0.78 and 0.9. So you see again the higher it is the more like the original image that you that you're working with okay so now let's go ahead and play around with the fine-tune model um, as I mentioned I'm using the deliberate 1.1 1 .1, uh, model Leonardo style so if I were to use for example the nun uh, which is basically just the straight deliberate 1.1 1 .1 model how would Janice look let's take a look okay this is actually pretty cool she's looking I like her she's looking really cute I like that first one a lot um, and if I were to actually go ahead and do an RPG which is another model that I absolutely love and I'll I'll go into the different models again that I use in, in, in a later video uh, but and there are so many models to choose from but you just have to play around with them so let's take a look at this one and see what Janice looks like with that RPG4 um, which is more is it it's definitely a more of a gaming model actually doesn't look that different doesn't look that different if I were to go ahead and do Leonardo style RPG4 how would she look she wouldn't look that different okay then what we're gonna do um, is I'm gonna try and do it like a Leonardo dream shaper that's another one dream shaper is used uh, for anime which I have developed a serious love for anime type style characters because I used to watch like Inuyasha and all those guys and I think Dragon Ball Z way back when but let's take a look and see what dream shaper just straight dream shaper comes up with okay I actually see her yeah there's a little definitely a different she looks more I think like more like a school teacher um, I like the glasses change and everything but with the image to image, to image um, is this is just a basic understanding of what you can do with it there's there's a, a few more things you can do with it, but I wanted to give you guys something that you can start with if you're doing image to image so go ahead 
and play around with it. Find an image, play around with it. Um, you know, see if you can, how you can manipulate it. Use different models, Dream Shaper or whatever you're using, perhaps using another platform. But go ahead and play with anything where you can actually grab an image and then manipulate that image instead of just image generating an image uh, within the tool and see how you can really and truly, um, you know, do something a little different. Okay. If there are any questions, um, you know, that you wanted to maybe see something a little bit different, um, let me know in the comments. Of course, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next video.